Welcome to Fujitsu FI Series eLearning, Paper Stream IP Features. Today we'll cover paper size and auto cropping, what's best for you and your scanning needs. Setting the page size correctly saves a ton of time, reduces rescans, adds flexibility to jobs, improves capture of skewed paper, eliminates setting up different profiles, and optimizes file sizes for reduced storage costs. The general approach is to select your largest page size so that you will scan and let auto cropping cut away the extra space to give you the right size document. So if you sometimes, even rarely, scan legal size documents, set your profile to legal. If it's only letter, set it to letter size. If you have an A3 or double letter sized scanner, set the paper size to double letter. Generally, you can go up to 34 inches in length without a noticeable slowdown in processing speeds. So why not set up all profiles to 34 inches? Our goal is to make sure the PC can handle all the data in the most efficient manner possible. Just think about what you'll be scanning and choose the largest size. Anything over 34 inches should be set up as a separate profile, as the scanner's resolution may need to be adjusted downward. There are a couple of rare scenarios where you may not want to use auto cropping. Some customers want to convert a smaller than letter size document, like a receipt, to letter size. So they turn off auto cropping, turn on white background, and set the paper size to letter. The image, like a receipt for example, will actually be the full letter size. This helps with retraining the size on print. Another scenario for turning off auto cropping is odd shaped documents like circles and trapezoids, as the auto cropping works best with a rectangle shape. 